Morning people, me again. Uh, this morning I've started digging around in the booster. See if we can figure out uh, what the issues were with the gear selector and the clutch. So I'll show you what's happening, what I think is happening with the clutch. Right, let's jump down here. Uh, that there is my clutch slave. It doesn't want to zoom in, but yeah, that's my clutch slave cylinder, and that's the banjo. Right now, all around the lower section where it's bolted to this plate. So there's no fluid coming out around here, around the bottom, but around the banjo is rather moist now when we had to rebuild it the track we didn't have any more copper washers so hopefully strip it off give it a clean again some uh, new copper washers bish bash bosh might be done our gear selector it didn't break the bolt fell out but I think, this is my selector rod. I think there is supposed to be a shoulder that sticks up off there that that slides onto. So the bolt coming out, when the bolt's come out, this is going to go like this and then she's going to So I can either just get a new one of these, which is original Suzuki off her gearbox rear set. Oh, I think I might just be able to put a rose joint on there. And uh, put a new rose joint on. Yeah. So, so there we go. So basically, maybe nothing broke. We just lost a bolt and a couple of copper washers. Because we rebuilt it after qualifying the clutch slave, and it lasted the first race. But then again, if it lasted the first race, why did it fall on the second race? I don't know, but we'll get it off anyway and we'll have a look through it. Right, just a quick update. That's short and sweet. See you later.